Unlike the Twilight series suggests, residents of a Serbian village are finding there's nothing really sexy or romantic about a vampire. In a bizarre public health warning, Mayor of Zarohe, Miodrag Vujetic, announced the real and serious threat of a vampire on the loose. The week gives us a legendary backstory. His name is Sava Savanovic. Local legend has it that long ago he lived in an old water mill on the village's Rogasika River. He reportedly preyed on unsuspecting visitors who stopped by the mill in search of grain. The structure eventually rotted and recently collapsed, leaving the vampire homeless and, according to locals, angry and in search of a new home and new blood. Residents aren't taking the warning lightly by any means, Bujetic told ABC News. I understand that people who live elsewhere in Serbia are laughing at our fears, but here most people have no doubt that vampires exist. We are all taking precautions by having holy crosses and icons placed above the entrance to the house rubbing her hands with garlic and having a hawthorn stake or thorn. Despite the Serbian officials' seriousness regarding the matter, WHBQ feels a wake-up call is needed. Do they not know vampires aren't real? Apparently not there in Serbia. Okay, if you're watching in Serbia by some crazy chance, vampires aren't real and neither are zombies. Still, though, villagers are being prepped on ways to make sure the vampire does not make way into their homes. According to the Daily Mail, the local council had advised all villagers to put garlic on their doors and windows to protect them from the vampire. As it was well known, they can't stand the smell. Before its collapse, the vampire's mill was bought by a local Serbian family. Due to the frightening legend, they feared to do any maintenance work as they may disturb the vampire. But Round News explains how the mill still served a purpose. They decided to let people see the home of the legendary vampire and made a fortune by advertising it is a place that tourists can visit. The mill was visited only during the day. Vampire legends have long existed in Serbia, according to Fox News. In the 18th century, the legends sometimes triggered mass hysteria and even public executions of those accused of being vampires. Villagers have to be on their guard at least for seven more months because local legend holds vampires are most active between Christmas and the Feast of the Ascension, on June 7th. For Newsy, I'm Neville Miller. Multiple sources, the real story.